Everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And some breaking news, Rusty Erasmus has officially named his 34-man squad for the Autumn Nations Series, the end of year tour. And a very straightforward squad, but some big returns in the form of Damien Willemser, who is obviously recalled after returning back to full fitness, as well as a surprise return for Franco Mostert, who uh, allegedly broken his leg in... Um, in August, and uh, it sounded like it was quite serious initially. And then Rusty Rasmus basically said he should be back for the next couple of months. And he wasn't lying, because he is back in the squad, and very, very good to have him back. Uh, Arke Sneeman, back to full fitness for Leinster. He is included, but a couple of omissions as well. So we'll talk about them. And no new caps, for example, no new players within the squad, which is maybe a little bit surprising. We'll talk a little bit about some of the players who might have gotten a call up but uh, before we do please do smash like on the video please do subscribe to the channel as right right that is the squad let's go through it shall we so the five props thomas the toy vincent koch franz Herber, oxen chair and gerard stenekamp uh very very good to see gerard stenekamp continue to be rewarded he's very highly rated by don human as well as rusty erasmus and uh he and he's going to keep getting opportunities there. Uh, and the good to see Thomas Toy in there, especially because he is the sort of a swing prop. Um, well, he is the swing prop over there and uh, he's one of, part of the younger generation. He probably is our long-term tight head with Vincent Koch, France Maher, but probably getting on in years. Bit of a race to see who the potential next or the second choice or other sort of competing tight head with Thomas Toy is going to be. The hookers, only two hookers being called in. In Malcolm Marks and Bongi Manambi, and that is because Jan Hendrik Vessels has been named as a utility player. So, no Johan Krabala, you might feel quite hard done by, but this is kind of the way that Rassi Erasmus is going with his squads. Uh, if you look at the locks, Ibn Etzebeth, Franco Mostert, Ruan Nokia, Arke Sneeman. Very, very interesting to go with Ruan Nokia ahead of Jean Klein, who is back and playing at the moment. No Lourdes Diaga, who continues to recover from injury. We we'll hopefully see him back next year but very good to see Franco Mustard back we'll probably see a starting combination of Etzebeth, Franco Mustard, Arkes Neyman coming off the bench um, which I think is a really good uh, combination there. Uh, Spare thought with Nicky Jansen and Rensberg who came in didn't get an opportunity in a straight back out and then very good loose forwards very straightforward loose forward selections in Peter Steff, the Toy, Sia Khaleesi, Albert Lowe, Quagga Smith, Mark Verstappen, and Jasper Visa. Albert Lowe stocks are up and uh, feel that he took his chance where maybe somebody like a Ben Jason Dixon did not. Uh, very interesting not to see a Cameron Harnacombe in the squad who is back, he is playing and playing very well. We know that he's very highly rated by Rusty Rasmus and has had a very good start to the URC season. So he's a player who I am quite surprised hasn't got a call up. And uh, I would have potentially have looked at potentially him ahead of Albert Lowe in terms of another option at eight. Because your eight options are because of Quaker Smith, Jasper Visa, six options, Mark Van Staden, and Sia Khaleesi. Your seven options, PSF, the toy, Albert Lowe. I mean, you've got Quaker Smith who can play across the back three, for example. Albert Lowe can also play in the number eight jersey. PSF, the toy, can cover lock. So there's all the cover you need in those forwards. Uh, if you look at the scrum halves, Jane Henson, Kubus Ranach, and Grant Williams. So no Fafta Clerk who uh, continues to recover from that injury, as we understand. And the two high, uh, fly halves in Mike Liebach and Andre Pollard, no Sasha Feinberg and Gomez Zulu, as expected because of that injury. Is expected, well, we initially thought he was potentially going to be back into the, the mix, but then uh, John Dobson confirmed that the injury is a bit more uh, serious than initially thought, and they're not going to rush it back. Jordan Hendricks, I think, had an outside chance to make in the squad. I think he might get a call-up if any of these players were to get injured in the next few uh, few weeks. Uh, in the centre, the Kanye Am, Damien Delendi, Andre Estes, and Jesse Creel. Estes and back to full fitness and is included. So the four usual centre suspects and then included in the back three options are the likes of Damien Willemser and Ken Moody, who are back and full fit. Uh, they will join Kirk Lawrence, Apriya Fassi, Cheslin Colby, and Billy LaRue, as well as Makazoloma Pimpi. Potentially Billy LaRue's final uh, end of year tour, to be honest. Could be the last time he plays in a small jersey away from home as they sort of look to try and give him that, uh, that 100 caps and then probably uh, he'll probably announce his international retirement. Uh, what a serve of the game he does. But Fassi obviously has now sort of made himself undroppable. Uh, I personally would have liked to have seen like an Edward van der Merwe potentially in, maybe ahead of a Max Oloma Pimpi. I mean, you're just talking about long-term options here. Uh, he's back and playing really good rugby for the Lions. 
Uh, I think we'll see him again next year. And then obviously Dan Brennan said, you have to get him back in. Somebody the other day was saying he's like third choice fullback. Are you mad? He is our first choice fullback. And I expect to see him playing at fullback in that first test against Scotland come November. So if you look at some of the, sort of the more, so I mean, if you look at the backs, for example, everything you potentially need over there. Uh, Monty Lieber, Conjure, Paul. I think Monty Lieber could probably get maybe one game. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we potentially see him start against Scotland. Uh, I do think he will play, though. Um, I think Daniel Brennan's going to play. I think the players who might not get a lot of game time in this sort of thing are Kenny Moody might only get one game. I think a Vili LaRue might only get one game, even a Pimpy, for example. Um, Esther Hazen potentially might not get any game time. Um, and then if we look at the forwards, for example, uh, I think that uh, Jan Hendrik Vessels, for me, I'll be surprised if he gets too much game time. I think Chaos Dino can come Oxen Chair. France Moherber and uh, Vincent Koch will kind of be the general go-to props. And apart from that, I think players who might not get a lot of game time there from the forwards uh, could be the likes of Ruan Nokia, Albert Lowe, Mark Van Staal, and kind of continue to more kind of be on the fringes. But let me know what you think of that squad down in the comments below. Please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.